Hey guys, this is Spencer from Builderpreneur, and this video is going to be all about building the webinar, um, building a, a really big webinar inside of ClickFunnels, okay? Um, I just finished a launch last month where, the, as you can see on the screen there, it grossed me $90,000. I'm not going to claim I'm a, webinar, I'm a webinar expert, but I do know what I'm doing, okay? Um, so stay tuned, watch the little intro, and we're going to dive right in. We're going to show you the technicality, step-by-step, -step, exactly what you need to do to get your webinar running, because it's daunting. Hey guys, I'm back. Remember at any point when you're watching this video to click subscribe if you like what you're learning. Um, what we're going to talk about today is is building Russell Brunson's perfect webinar. Okay, we're going to go into the technicalities of it because it's it's really actually pretty complicated. And I remember two months ago when I first sat down to start this webinar, uh, my my brain just started to hurt. I, I thought it all made sense to me until I started to actually try to build it, and then my my brain just couldn't wrap itself around how certain things are supposed to work inside of ClickFunnels and things like that. So we're going to dive in and show exactly how all that works. Okay. Um, so the, the the two things you need to know, we're going to model this after Russell Brunson's perfect webinar, okay? If you're going to do a webinar and you want to make money on that webinar, you should be using Russell Brunson's perfect webinar. There's a link down below um, to, uh, he's got like a little, for like five bucks, you can buy like a little overview of it. And then for, you know, a couple hundred bucks, he sells the full training on how to do the perfect webinar. I would buy the full training. I did buy the full training. Um, as you can see on the screen, it did really good for me. Um, anyway, so we're modeling that, okay? Uh, the second thing to know is that um, the funnel that I'm, that I'm, I'm showing you here, totally available to you. There's a link down below. You can import it directly into your ClickFunnels account if you have a ClickFunnels account, okay? If you don't have a ClickFunnels account, but you are trying to learn to do webinars, then you need to get a ClickFunnels account because ClickFunnels is the best way to run webinars because it was built by Russell Brunson, who does really well at webinars. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm not trying to brag, but the webinar did $90,000 in, what did I say, two, what does it say here? In like a two-week period, um, the, the launch two weeks, okay? So we're going to look and dive deep in here. Um, I took the payments in a separate funnel, so that's why I'm kind of doing this this way. Anyway, this is the funnel that did it, okay? Oh my gosh, it looks so complicated. I promise it's not nearly as complicated as it looks. So let's dive in. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do when you're creating your webinar is actually create the webinar, okay? Um, I spent like two weeks looking through webinar softwares. I was terrified it was going to break down or something on me. I ended up going with Zoom. Very, very happy with Zoom, okay? Um, they have a free plan um, to do webinars. I think the plan starts at $40 a month, but you can just sign up for a single month, run your webinar, and cancel, and then you're out like 40 bucks, right? Um, I happen, it's based on the number of attendees, and I had over a 1,000 people that were registered to attend, and so I, I bumped up and paid the $400 a month plan, but I canceled after a month, so it only ended up costing me $400, which is totally worth it, as you can see in the previous one. Um, so anyway, Zoom, you're gonna sign up for Zoom, and once you get a Zoom account, um, you're gonna have to kind of do, you're gonna have to add a webinar, okay? You're gonna have to add a little thing. It's really annoying. You have to go down here and add Zoom Rooms, which is the webinar software to it, because it doesn't, auto oh, just kidding. It's the video webinar, because it doesn't automatically come with your Zoom account. So you're gonna create a Zoom account, you're gonna go here and click Buy Now, and then you've got webinars possible on your account, okay? And then all you have to do is go to your account up here, and I don't have, like I told you, I don't have the ability to do webinars anymore, because I'm not doing it anymore. Okay, so I click this right here. You're gonna click right here, that little, what would be a picture of you if it was showing you, and then you're gonna go to my webinars, okay? And like I told you, I don't have the webinar capability right now, but guess what, it's not that hard. It's just gonna talk you through like 10 steps to build your webinar. You're just gonna set a date, so it's important that you set a date for your webinar, you schedule it out for a date, and then you tell it that, um, at least in my case, I let anybody attend that wanted to. I'm not gonna shut people out, right? And then it's gonna spit you out a link, okay? Here's a webinar, here's the link that people can click to get into your webinar on that date. Um, so let's say we set the webinar for, I set mine for September 5th, so let's go with that. September 5th is my webinar date. Now it's there, I've got my little link that Zoom gave me. Let's pretend that was the link, Zoom next webinar, it'll be something like that. And then we're gonna go to ClickFunnels, okay? We've got the webinar time, we need to tell ClickFunnels the webinar time. So you're gonna have a funnel that looks just like this. If, if you import mine, it's gonna look exactly like this. If you don't like mine, which I totally understand because I'm not very good at design, um, then you can go to the ClickFunnels marketplace, um, which you can Google how to get there, and you can import all kinds of, of different um, better looking webinar funnels, um, but they're all gonna have the same basic template, okay? This is a live webinar funnel and I, it, it's all following Russell Brunson's template. They'll just look visually different. 
Okay, so we're gonna go into here on your first page on this control right here. So first step of the funnel on your control, we're gonna go into our settings, kind of a strange place for it, and we set the webinar event time. So as you can see, mine was September 5th. The reason we need to tell ClickFunnels what time our webinar is going to be is that ClickFunnels is we're gonna be sending out different kinds of emails reminding people about um, the webinar, right? And ClickFunnels need to know when the webinar is, and so that's where we, we tell ClickFunnels, and then they can do everything based around that timeline. Okay, um, the next thing we need to do is we need to create you'll need to go in and customize these pages, okay? So um, the first step is a landing page. Uh, the one thing I would say about this, like I'm not gonna teach you everything about landing pages, simple, 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 okay? Um, we're just asking for an email address, we're not asking for money, we're not asking for credit cards, this doesn't need to be complicated, your whole goal here is just to get them to sign up. And you can see here, um, I kept mine, it might forward automatically here because I've got it set to now forward because it's not live anymore, nope, it's not gonna work, okay. But I had it basically free live training reveals the strange but simple method I used to create a seven-figure digital empire with no list and no following. Okay, very very simple. Um, not doesn't have to be overcomplicated. I just want people to put in their email address and then go to my next page. Um, so that's the one thing I would say. Don't don't try to teach them everything you're going to show them in your webinar. That can come later. That can come in the webinar. Um, but just take a problem point that they have and solve it for them right there. What is the overarching goal of this webinar? Are you going to you know what is it going to do for them? Okay. Uh, next thing is it's going to have a confirmation page. Once again, you're going to want to customize this. Um, there is a ClickFunnels course available down below for free that you can click on if you need if you don't know how to use the editor yet or don't know how to do any of that stuff. Um, but anyway, essentially this is let's click into it. So this is the confirmation page. It says, okay, now you're confirmed. There's a little video. All this video is is a little get to know you and a little exciter. Okay, you're gonna try to get them in about a minute. Just get them excited for the webinar and and help them to see that you're a human being and a person and and uh, relatable to them. Um, and then the second goal of this is get them to put it on their calendar. Okay, for me, I wanted to get them to subscribe to me on Messenger as well, which I got about a thousand Messenger subscribers from this. But the most important thing, get get it on their calendar. Okay. Um, very, very important if we can get this to show up in their calendar and their calendar reminds them instead of our email, which a lot of people don't check. Okay, so that is the confirmation page. The thing that confuses a lot of people are these indoctrination pages, okay? So they're not gonna necessarily come here after the confirmation page. These indoctrination pages, there's three of them. We're gonna send these people uh, to these indoctrination pages three days before, two days before, and one day before the webinar. And the whole point of this is just to keep the webinar on their mind and get them excited for it, okay? So if you're following Russell Brunson's perfect webinar, it's all about secrets, right? There's three secrets that we're gonna teach them. So these indoctrination pages focus one on each secret. Hey, secret one, and then you just remind them what the secret is. You give them maybe a teeny little tidbit of what they're gonna learn and get them all excited again, and then um, that's all it is. So you can look at an example indoctrination page here. Very, very simple. Secret one, sneak peek, right? And I just kind of give a little few words about what it's about. And then there's a, a video of me talking for what is it, like two minutes. Okay. Um, and then the other two the same way. What's going to happen is we're going to give links. Each of those pages has a link. You can see right here. If you don't know how to use ClickFunnels, there's a link. Copy the link. And then we can send people um, straight to that single page right there in our emails. So three days before they get indoctrination one, two days before they get indoctrination two, and three days before they get indoctrination number three. Okay. Um, so the next thing is the webinar broadcast room. Now this is where I vary from ClickFunnels. Uh, they have you basically embed the webinar and stuff into there. I don't do any of that. Um, I just used Zoom's regular old link and I sent people straight to the Zoom webinar and it worked great for me <laughs> and it made it much, much less complicated. So I didn't use the web card, webinar broadcast room at all. I just sent them straight to that link that Zoom gave me. You remember when you create your webinar in Zoom, it's gonna give you a link. I just sent everyone straight to that link, okay? Um, and then during the webinar, as you're doing the webinar, once you get to the sales section of the webinar, then um, that's where these two pages come in. And I'll tell you about this replay page in a second. The sales page is where we're gonna send them, <laughs> okay? So at the end of your, your your webinar presentation, when you start selling them, you're gonna send them to this link. Chink, chink, chink. And I just made it up stuff because in the end, it's actually gonna show them a different link if you know ClickFunnels. But anyway, so in the end, after the webinar, you're gonna show them that link right there. And um, and that's going to send them to the sales page. You're going to give them, you're going to basically put it in the comments so they can click it and you're going to, uh, put a link on the screen so that they can see it and type it in and then you're going to say it verbally. So there's three ways they can go do it. Right. Um, and that's where the, the link to the actual sales page comes in. So you can see this is, it, it, it's a funnel, but they're not necessarily going down each step by step by step in a row right then, right? This is all just kind of slowly happening over a period of a week. Um, and then after they buy this, the order page, it's gonna click funnels will automatically send them to a thank you page, which should be in your funnel. Okay. The only other thing you have to know is that Zoom 
um, is going to ask you when you're done if you want to save the recording of the webinar. And you do. You want to save that recording and it's going to save it for you. And then you're going to be able to upload that to YouTube. And then you just insert it in your webinar replay room. Okay. So that's where the replay comes in. You just take that YouTube video. It's an hour and a half webinar. And you stick it into this webinar replay room. I left my webinar available for 48 hours. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, I don't think this stuff works anymore. In fact, in the last like three weeks, YouTube's been making changes that have made it really hard to work in ClickFunnels, so I didn't do any of that. Basically, I just say, hey, you know, come watch the replay, um, and it'll be available for 48 hours, and then I had it automatically disappear because that was what I told people to do, and I wanted to make it something that they had to do quickly or the opportunity would be lost. Okay, so um, let's go back to that funnel here, and we'll talk about the emails. Okay, so this is the logistics of setting it all up, okay? They come in, they get registered, they get confirmed, and then three days before, we wanna send them this, this, and this, or three days before, two days before, one day before, and then we actually send them um, the day after, we send them to the replay room. During the webinar, we verbally send them a link, or and textually send them a link to the sales page, where we actually take their, or it's also the order page, it's where we take the money, right? Like, we've sold them in the webinar, now we wanna take their money. That's where the order page comes in, and then it sends them to a thank you page. And you don't have to worry about the affiliate area unless you are planning on doing that, and that's a totally separate thing. So you wouldn't have to worry about these two steps. They won't even come in the in the share funnel. Um, so let's talk about emails, okay? So in this live training registration, there's an automation tab. Let's go into there. And you can see it's got a bunch of emails that I send out. This comes with the funnel that I'm sharing with you. So if you click that link and import it in your ClickFunnels account, it all comes with you. Um, so the first email, you can see the times here when they're supposed to be sent out. The first one is supposed to be sent out immediately, and that's a one, you've registered, a confirmation, and then a two, um, it's, uh, once again, a calendar thing, right? Add this to your calendar. Um, and we give them a, a little link to open it up in their calendar. Um, the next thing is, so I, I launched my webinar like, a few days, like 12 days before I want, I started launching and got people coming into my funnel. So I'm um, starting 11 days before I just started to send them emails. You don't have to worry about this. If you don't want, I did 11 days before I did a nine day before email. You can see negative 11 days. So when you go to add a new email, it's going to ask you when to send it and you can select delay from base, basically base this around the webinar time. And then I can say, um, delay days, negative, three or negative two or negative one or whatever I want, right? And that'll be three days before whatever time I've scheduled that webinar to start. So that I'm telling it to base it around the webinar. So that's how the automation works. So you can see that I talked about three days before, it sends out an email for secret peak number one. Two days before, it sends out an email with a link to that, to uh, indoctrination page, secret peak number two. One day before, it sends out a link to secret indoctrination page number one or three. And then you can see um, one hour before, I send them a... And don't ask me my ClickFunnels just kind of throws these all over the place, but you can tell on the right here based on the times that they're coming. One hour before, it sends and says, hey, we're going live in an hour, and it, it uh, gives them that Zoom link, says this is where we'll be in an hour, and then negative .05 hours, which is like, what is it, like seven minutes or three minutes or something right before. It says, okay, we're live, hop in, and it sends them that link to the Zoom webinar that we're, that we're running, okay? Um, once again, if you need to get the links, you can just click on these and then it'll it'll show up right there. Um, but that's how the automation works, all the pre-webinar automation, okay? If you set your webinar time correctly, then it's very, very easy. All you've got to do is add an email or you can just use my template and change the times and you delay your email, you have it based on the webinar time and you, you choose how many days before. Make sure you have the negative mark, um, but you choose how many days before or hours before, okay? Um, and you'll obviously have to have set all this stuff up. That's all in my ClickFunnels course down below if, you, uh, if you're totally new to ClickFunnels and, and need to get all that running. Um, so that's all that works. Uh, now, if you, if you get all this, you already have, you know, you know how to do email auto-responsing and stuff for the post-webinar sequencing and everything like that, then you're good to go. Um, of course, click subscribe first. But, uh, but other than that, you're good to go. Um, I'm going to talk really, really quick at the end. I don't use ActionEdX. I don't use ClickFunnels for my post-webinar emails. Um, I used Active Campaign, my email autoresponder that I really love. And uh, so I'm going to talk for really quickly about how I ran the post-webinar if you are still hooked and still trying to figure out all that. So what I did is everyone that got opted in, so let's go back to the live registration. Everyone that opted in got added through an integration. So if you're familiar with integrations, they got added to active campaign, added to a list. They got added to registered for my 2.0 live webinar. Okay, so now they're just sitting on that list, right? Um, and then the next thing I had it set to do is on my sales page, 
if somebody bought. So on my products tab, now if you're sitting there like, I don't even know what's going on. This is all in the ClickFunnels course, so it's okay. Um, I'm bouncing around like crazy. Um, but anyway, when I go to add a new product, which I'm going to show how I do here, then you can select email integration and I can say active campaign. I want you to integrate with active campaign and I want you to add to a list with a tag, okay? And the list I want to add you to is purchased affiliate secrets, okay? So now everyone that registered is on my registered for 2.0 live training email, but those that purchase get added to a second list, purchased affiliate secrets, and they also get a tag. So I get they get added to purchased affiliate secrets and they get tagged with purchased affiliate course, okay? So now what I can do is um, the day after I send the webinar to everybody, I go into my active campaign and I send it to everybody that's on my registered list, but not on my purchased list. Okay. Which is most people, right? I had 5,000 register and 100 purchased or something like that. Um, so that's most people. And then two days later, I send another email saying, Hey, here's an update. Uh, I offered a discount when I launched. I said the first hundred people get a discount. And so I sent them an update two days later and I said, Hey, there's only, I think there was like 25 spots left. There's 25 spots left to buy affiliate secrets at the discounted price. And that email went out um, in active campaign. I say that email goes to everybody on this list, ex unless they have this tag purchased affiliate course, right? If they have that tag, don't send it to them. Um, which if you're, if you're confused on that, <laughs> um, there is a link down below to a, to an email marketing course that is free as well, where I teach you how to do all that in active campaign. Sounds complicated, but you really just need to learn these softwares and it's really, really easy to do. Um, once, once you understand how, how, how it happens inside of the softwares. But anyway, so that's how I did it. And then I sent out live updates for two weeks straight saying, hey, we've sold this many. The price is going up. Hey, we've sold this many. Bonuses are going down um, and all that. Um, just just every two days, the, that was going out and only being sent to the people that had purchased, to not purchased the Affiliate Secrets course, okay? Um, and that is how I ran the the, the webinar that did, like I said, it, it did in... Uh, I'm trying to remember the date range. August 20th, which is when we did the pre-launch. We started to get people signing up through September 20th, which is when we um, officially kind of closed down the live version. Um, it did did $90,000, which the course sold for $697 to 100 people, um, which ended up being like 108 because I didn't get it closed down in time. <laughs> and then it sold um, at 897 for the next um, however many that was. Okay. Um, and, that, and that, once again... This uh, this came from the perfect webinar. This comes from Russell Brunson's perfect webinar. I followed it pretty close to the T. And in fact, you can even go watch the webinar if you want. It's on my website. Um, I followed pretty much everything Russell Brunson teaches because Russell Brunson knows webinars. So if you are interested in doing a webinar, you need one, you need to go buy his perfect webinar secret. You need to go buy his training. Two, you need to import a webinar funnel. Three, you need to build it all out, customize what I've given you here to be your own. And then four, you're just going to have to run traffic to it, okay? Um, it's just a matter of, of running traffic. And um, there's a lot of ways to do that. I've got lots of videos, lots of videos online. There's lots of courses and stuff like that. Um, but that that's going to be on you. This video isn't about running traffic and getting people into it. But um, we'll have another video on how I ran traffic to this webinar, and it'll be sweet. So click subscribe. Thanks so much. There's tons of free content down below. Like I said, join the Automation Nation Facebook group. Um, watch the next video. Uh, hang around a little. Uh, we love to have you, and thanks for watching Buildapreneur.